In this video, I'll introduce you to the library's specialist business resources. I'll show you what we have, where to find them, and how to get help to use them. You can access the library's business resources by logging into SUST, clicking on the library tab, and then choosing subject guides. That will take you to a list of subjects and from here you can choose business or your subject. So business accounting, finance, management and marketing or one of these from the list. Any one of them will bring you to this page which is the subject guide, the library subject guide for business and business school students. So I'll start by introducing you to our business databases. From your subject page, choose databases and then you'll see a list of categories. And what I've tried to do is to divide or put each database into a category to help you to find what you're looking for. So we have databases that cover company and financial information. We have companies annual reports. We have research sorry, market research, industries and marketing information. We have accounting information, news and current affairs, TV, radio and film, economic and social data, the British standards and case studies. As an example, we'll have a look at company and financial information. So, when you come to a databases page, what you'll normally see is that the databases themselves are down the centre of the page and there's other information at the side. Under each database name, you'll see a description and I've written those descriptions myself and I've tried to make them as clear as possible so that you know what each database contains. So it's important to read those descriptions. Some of the databases have little icons next to them. If you see a padlock icon like this, it means that the database has a special username and password, and you need to click on that icon to get the password. The question mark icon is very important because this is the help icon. So if you need any help to use the database, click on the green question mark. To access any of the databases, just click on the blue names. There's not time in this video to introduce you to all the databases that we have, because there are lots of them, but I want to point out some of the key databases that will be most useful to most people. So, starting with company and financial information. So one of our main databases is called FAME and this provides very detailed information about UK and Irish companies. It covers all companies including both listed and non-listed, so that's public and private companies. It includes full company accounts for up to 10 years and there are two main ways to use it. You can either look at one company in detail or you can create a list of companies that you're interested in and then download specific information about those companies. And there is a guide to fame which you will find under the green question mark. This is a, a menu from fame that gives you an idea of the sort of information that you'll find. So sort of general information about the company, industry and brands, Financials and ratios is a key section that has the full company accounts plus some ratios that have been calculated to help you. And then other things like a little bit of stock data, information about directors and ownership, advisors and auditors. This is what fame looks like. And you can either search for one company in the search box here, or you could set criteria for a, creating a list of companies that you're interested in. So for example, under location, we could choose all the companies in Southampton. Under financials, we could choose the companies that have a turnover of at least 10 million pounds per year. 
and then you can download information about those companies. If you want help using FAME, then you click on the green question mark icon to find the guide to take you step by step through exactly how to use it. DataStream covers company information for listed, so public companies all over the world. And it also has lots of other financial and economic information. So it's a very large and quite a complex database. Unfortunately, it's not available online, so you won't be able to get it on your own computer. But we have two special data stream computers in the Hartley Library that you can come and use. And if you'd like to use one, book yourself a session online. Again, help guides are available, so do use those because DataStream is quite complex. Next, we'll look at accounting information. So one of the key databases for accounting students is the CCH Online database. And this provides accounting standards um, and auditing standards, both UK and international. It also has company in in uh, company legislation, books and other related information. This is one of the databases that has a special password. So you'll see the little padlock icon here and you'll need to click there to get the username and password to log in. Once you have logged in, CCH Online will look something like this. Generally, you can just search it at the top here or if you prefer, you can click on one of the categories from be below on the page. Now we'll have a look at the market research, industries and marketing information. So one of our key and our new databases is called Mintel. And Mintel provides us with UK market research reports. And these are the areas that the reports cover. So business technology, business finance, business healthcare, retail clothing and footwear, e-commerce in the UK, retail banking and leisure. And to give you an idea of the sort of reports that Mintel provides, these are the e-commerce reports. So things like digital advertising, online grocery retailing, music and video streaming and, and trends within the markets. The reports that you'll find in Mintel are very detailed uh, and very interesting and this is a table of contents from one of the reports to give you an idea of what sort of information you'll find. So it has uh, a summary, it talks about the UK economy, it has information about market factors, market size and segmentation, trends and issues the structure of the industry. It will also have information about key companies in the market. So this is the uh, accounting and financial, sorry, financial management market in the UK. And it will also have information about forecasts. So what will happen in the future or what they think will happen in the future. Another database that provides us with market research reports is called Passport. And Passport isn't just limited to the UK, this covers the 80 major countries in the world. As well as reports, it has lots of industry statistics. It uses a consistent methodology so you can compare the data across the countries. And it has articles and opinion pieces. It also has a huge collection of country and consumer statistics. So if you're looking for statistics, things like GDP about a country, then Passport is a good place to come. And this covers most countries in the world. This will give you an idea of what Passport covers or what industries Passport covers. And Passport's very focused on consumer industries. So it looks at the products that we buy and consume. It looks at the services we use and also at packaging. And you can use it either by just searching for a keyword or if you click on the main search, you can follow the guide on the library website 
to do a more structured and accurate search. And the Mintel and Passport databases, although we call them market research databases, they're certainly not just for people studying marketing. They have lots of information about lots of different areas, including international business, so they can be useful if you're looking at strategic planning, uh, competitive threats, mergers and acquisitions possibilities, the performance of companies, and lots of other things. A database that is very much for students studying marketing is WALK and WALK has uh, case studies, articles, best practice guides, advertising data and other information about marketing and advertising. This is what WALK looks like. You can either use it by clicking on one of the sections at the top or you can do a search. So that's an excellent database for marketing students. The next area we'll have a look at is economic and social data. So we've already had a mention of Passport, which has lots of economic and social data for countries. We also have a special database called China Data Online. So if you are interested in economic or social statistics for China, that's a good place to start. This is what China Data Online looks like and you can choose from the menu on the left hand side. Next section is news and current affairs and the key database or uh, website we have access to is ft.com and this is essentially the Financial Times newspaper online but it also contains lots of other very useful material. So it brings together things like special reports, there's lots of company information and other information for you to use. The Financial Times, if you've not heard of it, is a very well respected business newspaper. So it's having an account and using it regularly is an excellent way to keep up to date with what's happening in the business world. You will need to create an account before you can use it and uh, you can do that by going through SUST to the library pages, clicking on ft.com and then following the instructions. And then we also have a database of British standards. So uh, those are like ISO standards, like international standards, but they're the ones uh, that are specific to the UK. If you need to search for literature, such as journal articles, then the main source we have is called Delphis, and this is the library's search engine. But Delphis searches all topics, all subjects taught in the university, or most subjects, and so not everything is specific to you. So if you find that Delphis finds too much information or not enough relevant information, then we do have alternatives that may give you better results. So the main one is called Business Source Premier. And as its name suggests, this is a very business focused database. So it covers all aspects of business. Um, it includes journal articles, trade journals or trade publications, um, and reports as well as other types of information. Many of the articles are available in full text and there are PDF buttons for you to click on, but you may also see these buttons, the full text finder buttons, which very off le often lead you to the full text of articles. Particularly for people studying human resource management, we have a psychology database called PsychInfo that will just give you articles and other information about psychology. And again, you will see the full text finder links to link to the full text of articles so that you can download them. And then if you're interested in economics, we have a database called Econlit, which is the main economics literature database and again it has the full text finder links 
And the good thing about all three of these databases is that they use the same interface as Delphis. So if you've used Delphis before, then you will recognize these database interfaces and you'll be able to use them in quite a similar way. To find the databases, come to your business page, choose journal articles, and then if you have a look under key journal databases and other useful databases, you'll see the three that I've just mentioned. On the top right hand side of this page, you'll find help information. So there's a guide that you can download that will help you to find journal articles. And there's also a guide to help you search the databases most effectively. Off campus access is very important. While we're on campus, or if you're in halls, then everything will work smoothly for you. E-books, e-journals and databases will just work as you'd expect them to. But if you're living in private accommodation or you go away from the university, then you'll find that it's very difficult to get access to online resources unless you have some kind of connection to the university. And the main type of connection is an SVE connection, that's Southampton Virtual Environment. So I would recommend that you set up one of those if you can. If that doesn't work for you, you can try the alternative, which is a VPN connection, um, a virtual private network connection. And you can find out about both of these at this web address here. If you'd like any more help, then don't forget that there's plenty of help available on the website. So there are guides, on the journals page to finding articles and to searching and there are also guides available for most of the databases by clicking on the green question mark symbols. If you have questions that aren't answered here then feel free to contact me. My name is Harry and this is my email address and my phone number.